Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games, and welcome to part 6 of my now Empire of Mexico uh, campaign. Here in Hearts of Iron 4, uh, Age of Imperialism. <clears throat> I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling a little bit congested, like in the, you know, like my speaking tube, my esophagus. Uh, so hopefully uh, I'm going to be, uh, hopefully it don't sound too bad. Uh, let's, um... Let's keep working on uh, just these various things. We're still trying to get more of these uh, civilian factories cranked out right now. Uh, so that we can just get the freaking um, better, uh, you know, get another research slot already. Perform an open sea parade. War support gain. I really can't seem to get my war support up to, uh, up to, uh, you know, 100. So, you know, I think I will take this we'll weekly support for 30 days, so... It's only gonna give me a few percent. It's not that much, actually. <clears throat> we can get some more army experience, but I think we're kind of okay there right now. Although, getting the, uh... I like this air armada concept. It's kind of cool. Uh... But there's just so much to do. We just did La Légion. Uh... So that's that just spawned me some more people. Let's get like, just get spawning some more like mountain infantry. Oh, that is a neat little simple uh, symbol of the uh, legionnaires, and they do come equipped already, which is nice. Uh, so I like that. Let's change his colors again. I hate the teal. The, you know, just the, the the base color there. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. There we go. That I like. And then these are my special forces. There we go. Okay, so uh, now we just need to get all these divisions that are in training here out so we can start expanding. Germany is tightening its grip on Scandinavia. Well, what does that mean? Sweden? Scandinavia is under German protection. People are saying, yeah, won't nobody come in here. Fight's gonna start. That's what they're saying. Okay. Uh, let's get that construction going. What do we have? Okay, there's the uh, mountain divisions there. Okay, we're still trying to get these all out. We've almost got it. In fact, we probably could have a couple of these go away here. Yeah, we only need like 20,000 more, so I'm taking some of these away so that the equipment goes uh, up here and, you know, they'll come out faster. The Polish government has some anti-Germanic moods going on. They are the buffer between Germany and Russia. They're the ones who border Germany, though, uh, most directly. Okay, a lot of good bonuses here. Uh, better artillery is a nice thing. Let's get the even better artillery. Because I think our, yeah, our infantry divisions have artillery in them, right? No, no, they don't, actually. Might not want to bother with it. Uh, okay, we need just one more civilian factory, so I'm glad I got that third row going. So as soon as this is done, we can get our extra research slot. Uh, and then when this better artillery thing is done as well, uh, we should be able to go directly into... Okay, Integralismo just got aided. We should be able to then uh, do the Mexican Empire thing. So we're trying to get this done ASAP. Just need like another 10,000. Oh, I just thought of a way that I could have cheated it. I could have just made like these little small divisions. I could have... Uh, I could have, you know, just made like a, a two, a two width. You know, I've got so much art, more army experience than I really need. I could have made just like a two width a infantry thing, and then converted them to like forty widths, and they would have instantly popped up. That was like a min max tactic I could have used. Damn. Uh, okay. So how many are in the field now? Over a million. So I think now. Yes, dreams of the Mexican Empire, but I probably, I probably could have, if I really, really wanted, done this, like, a year ago. Fuck. More than 100 years ago, when we gained independence, Mexico's first empire was the greatest power in North America. 
Unfortunately, as a result of the tragic events that were to haunt us from then on, we lost a large part of our former lands and influence. But now that we have both our own and our allied power on our side, we will not be stopped from regaining our place in the sun. So this is going to move us to full mobilization when right now we're on... Uh, which one are we on? Obligatory army service. So that's going to increase our consumer good factories a bit, but war support will go up and we're going to get significantly more recruitable population, whatever. We might actually change it back, but we'll also get expansionism, which helps with war support. And uh, yeah, just get a bunch of claims at once. Okay, so then I think I could just sort of slow this down now, actually. Yeah, enough, enough infantry. Yeah, quite enough infantry. A la orden! Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just start assigning some of these. Preparados. Hold on, let's try to... Preparados. There we go, 16. I'm just trying to make sure everybody's Preparados. assigned here. Señor, uh, orden. yeah, let's move those out. Sí. There we go, 16 there. And uh, take some of these out. There we go. So we'll have a full group of 16 here. 16, 16, 16. Oh, wait, no, no, these ones actually can have uh, more. Wait, no, 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 those are the elite. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now train, train... Train. Okay. Now. Uh, cool. So we have 88 divisions right here. Which I think we're going to uh, like immediately bring down here, like so. Germany pursue the Dutch. Ultimatum is getting thrown down. Oh, I think World War II might be about to... Uh, Break out out there. Uh, this doesn't look good for Germany, though, if Russia gets involved. It'd be a little strange if I end up <laughs> hanging out out there. Okay, let's get that research slot. Fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. Um, okay, have I been working on land doctrines? No, I haven't. Let's do that. And I think we could officially also start making more military factories uh although how many how many civilian factories will i need yeah i'll need a hundred to get another research slot i just don't think that's going to really happen uh locked a sponsor didn't we already get an event like that Senor, crazy okay let's take a look at our logistics though so the uh infantry equipment we're actually down to just 236 days it's going to take uh to get that filled up I might just kind of periodically keep buying infantry equipment and things like that. What else is it that we're short on? The support equipment. Support equipment's going to take almost a year. The medium tanks. Actually, it's not so bad. Um, that's kind of the higher priority, actually. Okay. Get these training. <clears throat> and aviation. Air show in Moscow. Russia shows her power. Uh, what do I want to work on here? I could do some... Let's do some passive defense first. Okay. Germany just declared on the Netherlands. Are they guaranteed in any way? No? Okay. So Wilhelma... That's going to be huge for Germany, though, because then aren't they going to get the uh, the Dutch East Indies as a result and all those resources? Hmm. Mexico has announced its ambitions. Another intriguing news comes from Mexico, which, after the drastic experiences of the Civil War, seems to be entering the path of ambitious plans. In view of the growing size of the Mexican army and industry as well as the achievement of social stability combined with the establishment of very friendly contacts with powerful countries overseas, the Mexican government has finally decided to announce its further plans on the international arena. During the press conference, the Mexicans stressed that they are a nation harmed by the evil plots of the United States, and not only they, but the entire Central America and the Caribbean. The intention to counteract all American actions in the region was announced, as well as calls for an international boycott of the United States of America. Antagonism is growing every day. So, now... 
I think I could just like take one of these claim states and it'll be very quick. Object of international interest. <laughs> uh, we should take advantage of favorable circumstances as long as possible. Yeah, well, ain't gonna work out much longer, is it? So, pressuring, we got Mexican Crusade getting rid of the imposter. What's this? Central America is undoubtedly our main Hispanic rival who stands in the way of regaining our former glory and restoring the original borders of the country. Okay, so this will just give me the goal. So I could, I could like, press the claim uh do it that way but i won't we're just gonna do it this way so i'm at, i'm gonna do a cut here though uh real quick just in case there's some sort of error going on so i'll be right back okay and we're back so that's just i was just making a save file as a backup in case something goes wrong uh okay so what's the boost war economy industry one again 360 day oh yeah yes 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 this is what we definitely want this year for sure. Dang it. I'm, uh, once again, I keep taking these every 13 months instead of every one month. Uh, let's buy some infantry equipment. There go the Netherlands. Yeah. As was to be expected, Indonesia is independent now, it seems. Okay. So they didn't even really get the... Uh... Oh, who won this? event could take place large crowds come to italy to bet on the teams but uh, i think this will be a pretty easy fight here let's stop the exercising for a bit i, I think we're more than ready for this uh like, how big is their army 10 divisions maybe <laughs> A storm in Central America, Mexican ambitions announced some time ago undoubtedly attracted the interest of the whole world and made this region of the world continue to enjoy the interest of international correspondence. These anti-imperialist intentions to oppose the United States regional policy as well as the European powers apparently made Mexico willing to make very bold efforts to make its plans a reality. As reported today, the Mexican government has expressed outrage over the activities of the Central American government is allowing it to, quote, export American influence to the South, unquote, end quote. Allow European powers access to Central America, unquote. The aforementioned accusations about the foreign policy of the Central American Federation seem to be sufficient grounds for Mexico to declare war on them. Time to settle the dispute over Central America. Uh, so, in the meantime, anything we want to do while we're at war? I can prepare to dominate the Caribbean. They're, these are decisions. I guess we'll take that. Uh, but here we go. We're not gonna call in our allies for this. Yeah, it's it's a it's gonna be a bloodbath. Uh, cool. Medium tank twos are ready, and uh, it's gonna be a while before we get the three. So I want to actually boost these as much as I can. Uh huh. There we go. We're gonna call this the Huerta model. Can't forget who won us uh, the rebellion initially. There we go. Very nice. Reactionism is growing in strength. Uh, we improved the situation of our country. We can't do anything about it. Uh, this will make reactionism more popular. Well, we're already overwhelmingly popular ourselves, whole Maximiliano. Um. Yeah, we're gonna say we can't do anything about it. Uh, then again, I don't need the political power. I guess we'll say we can't let this happen. Belgium is violate. Oh, Germany. Excuse me. Germany is violating Belgian neutrality. Uh, once again, doesn't seem to be anybody guaranteeing them. So okay. Uh, interesting stuff. Yeah, this will take 482 days to get to medium tank 3. Way, way too long. Uh, let's start improving our anti-air capabilities. And uh, we don't have artillery anyway. So let's maybe work, just work on some of these other things. That ate up a lot of my um, uh, power, obviously. Let's get the anti-air. Oh yeah, my army experience. So after we're done dominating the Caribbean, we'll take that military school. Really investing hard on these tanks. How big is the British army, I wonder? 
just a thought. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Because I was spamming divisions, do I have more than them? That would have been a little interesting. Got that encirclement there. Let's see how this is looking. We've lost a thousand, they've lost twelve thousand. Yeah, it's uh no trouble at all. Just getting greater Mexico back. Communism's growing in strength. Oh, don't want that. Do not. Do not. Um Gosh, there's a part of me that wonders if I could hit the hundred. No, I won't. I won't be able to. I gotta I gotta refocus on um getting getting military factories up and running. Germany feels threatened! You've you've eaten two countries and you feel threatened? Oh the sublime state of Belgium. Is this like the Supreme Republic of Venice or something? <laughs> very, very silly. Um anyway, uh the current policy of Germany in the news related to it enjoyed great interest in the world and also resulted in the emergence of the view of Germany as a small state, though capable of dominating the region with its aggressive policy. Fortress Germany, they're adopting a defensive stance. What are you scared of, bro? This is so awkward, these Austrians just in the in Central Europe <laughs> with their friends so far away. Okay. You guys attack here. Come on now. Britain stands tall. Preemptive actions against those willing to sabotage the world's best civilization. The sun never sets indeed. I don't know if that's going to bode well for uh, my ultimatum to them. But first, let's do the military school. Oh, not yet. Yeah. Where's that there? Okay. Uh, industry has been looking good. Um... It's still a little bit too ahead of time for some of this stuff. I don't think I need these acclimatization buffs. HP is cool. Yeah. Every cloud, uh, reactionaryism has gotten less popular. Military school is done, so let's uh, do some modifications here. Let's get the uh, support equipment in there, and I want anti-air put into all of my uh, my normal uh, infantry divisions, although I don't think that's going to quite be enough piercing. I'm probably going to have to do... That would be something interesting. Do some 7-2s with anti-air guns. I still also don't have the improved anti-air, which pierce much, much better. Um. Hmm. You know what? I might... Uh, I think I'm actually going to go a little bit into the uh, the fighters. Maybe try to get a nice air force going. Great Air Armada. for the captured equipment. That's a lot of rifles. That's going to go a long way towards uh, fixing my problem. Uh, my infantry equipment deficit. So, wow! Look at that timer go! Years into the game. That's just good, uh, that's just good coding right there. So we're only 21 days away on the infantry equipment, apparently. After I captured so much of it. Okay, um... So let's take a look at these pressuring the Caribbean focuses. Don't think I forgot about those. Uh, and let's have women be pilots. Why not? Um, integralist policies. Here we go. Pressuring the Caribbean. So to do this, we want our country to be a regional power as our propaganda proclaims. It is imperative to extend our sphere of influence, but we need naval dockyards. Okay. So then we need to... Hmm... Okay, so the Caribbean stuff's gonna have to wait then uh, while we work on this. So are we getting these as cores right away? No, these are occupied states. Do we have a... Uh... Oh, what's this? Oh, we haven't joined their so uh, scientific cooperations. 
Russian military experts. Just give me a bunch of bonuses everywhere. But yeah, let's definitely take both those. Uh, encourage work for the state. Use foreign dockyards. Add an off-map one. Yeah. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. We need to, uh... Let's see, we've got air... Fighters. Yeah, let's get the the fighter stuff going. Positioning, naval experience gain. There we go. We got our two air people really going through a lot of political power here. Okay, we need to pick an air doctrine as well. Uh, looks like strategic destruction is what my allies are doing. So it's really not super efficient, but the the speed in which I'll get stuff, I can get down here to dogfighting quicker. Although, don't I have something that's going to increase the, uh, the ace generation chance? 15%. Oh, then I definitely should come over here to my Air Doctrine and then do this one to get the 25% as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna... I know that they're working the other thing, but this will still be better for me in the end. Okay. Uh, let's do another cut so we can see how this ultimatum for the British thing works, because uh, I don't want to accidentally be at war with a quarter of the world. Okay. It's, uh, British Honduras is an old star on the body of Central America. It's possible the British will agree to give this piece of land an appropriate price. You know what? I'll pay for it. That's fine. Uh, in theory, I don't think we'll ever have to go to war with, uh, the British. Which would be nice. Uh, then once we've done that, we could, uh... Do I even want to bother, though, with the Caribbean? You know, securing Cuba and all that? It, it, it might just end up kind of being a hassle. Hmm, when I need to be focusing on the upcoming hey, war parado. with the, uh, the United States. Typhoon happened in Japan. Uh, okay, what's next, what's next here? Um, port companies, yeah. Señor, a la orden. All right, what's going to happen, Brits? What do you want to do? How do you want to play it? Hmm. Let's see here. Land forces. Need that support equipment. Armed entry into British Honduras. The war propaganda uh, machine that... Uh, we dispersed in order to persuade the British to give us a piece of land. Seems to have not worked as it should because the British refused. Uh, now to make matters worse, we cannot back out of our plan of conquest without making a laughing stock of ourselves. So it's imperative to challenge the British crown. After all, they cannot care so much about a piece of land on the other side of the world. Uh, so we just forcibly take it. But uh, they, they now have a war goal on us. Disturbing news coming from Central America, where they gathered, we uh, invaded the territory and, and annexed it forcibly. Mexicans messed with the British lion. Hmm. Brazil just joined the Commonwealth, so now somebody a little closer to home. That, that's a good uh, jumping off point. They, oh, we lost Honduras? Brazil, get in here. <laughs> uh, that could be a long-term problem. But now, we need to start thinking about the war with the United States. Some sort of reconquista? Hey. Now, how am I going to play it? I guess we need to secure California. The, the idea would be to get to the Canadian border, and then we'll have the... The, the border will be as long as it could get. Um, we're not going to do it just yet. We need to... Uh, Let's see. Oh, oh, this is when we core everything. That's cool. Uh, that's all gonna be very expensive. 
Does any of this just give us dockyards? Nice. One, two, two, four, six, eight. This will give me eight dockyards. I've already got six. So that'll practically get me where I gotta be. Let's start coming down here then. Get that breakthrough. Hmm. Oh, can't go wrong with better infantry equipment. It's the rifle everybody has. We'll work with somebody who was with us. Sweden. Russia, there we go. How's the United States looking? They've only got 147 divisions. If I could, though, though they're probably decent quality. Uh, you see, it's saying inferior enemy, but that's because I think they're not really filling in the, uh, the front lines, so we don't want to get sucked in by that too much. Uh... We're going to call this the Atslan Liberation. Or how about Reclamation? Reclamation Army. We're going to be wanting to do offense. Yeah. Preparados. So I need to think about who my tank commander is going to be here. A la orden! Scavenger, uh, no, 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 no. Bearer of artillery. Hmm, gorilla, trickster, this could be good. I will go, uh, Grostieta. Preparados! Oh, there's Huerta, he's still a general. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> That's a little silly. Okay. Uh, we're still really freaking short on the support equipment. Not even making 10 a day. 227 days here. Uh, it's going to take another 153 days on the medium tanks. Yeah, we got to start filling up that support equipment. Um, but also, some fighters would not hurt, I think. Okay. Start getting some of those up and running. Okay. Let's talk about planes. Get that up. Uh, got a couple of those together. There we go. Um, so it begins. I'm sure their uh, air force is enormous. Actually, it's not that bad. Only about a thousand. If I could just maybe concentrate my my air force in smaller areas, I could be able to pull something off here. Especially once we get to the ace, if we can get some aces going. Norway joined the Reichspak, though. There's that Scandinavian pressure we were hearing about. Expand the dockyards so we could start, uh... Start pressuring the Caribbean sooner rather than later. Mmm... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Education minister... 100%, we're already good on all the stability and stuff. Command power gain daily could be useful, but 8% research is pretty sweet. Reactionism hurts stability, hurts my monthly population, but I'm going to get another 2% recruitable population and I get more factory output. I think that's more important. Oh, I just realized my agency, uh, I think this guy hasn't been doing anything. We need to uh, get building an intel network over here or something. Um, yeah. Portugal joined the Commonwealth of Nations. Well, that's a pretty traditional uh, alliance. I don't know what the Spanish Republic's doing out there. But, you know, I think maybe next episode we might we might give it a try uh, to to go after the United States, or maybe we'll just spend it uh, preparing. Well, no, because let me think here. I could go to the United States whenever I decide to. It's only going to take me how many days? Thirty-five days. Uh, we can't fulfill our ambitions yet, so we don't have all those cores. Still, I feel like we're in a good spot now to face them. Senor. All right, let's set up our tanks over here. Oh, that's great. The the front line is fortified. 
We're gonna try to get up the coast best we can. Chile's join the Commonwealth of oh, Britannica. They are uh, they are on it right now. They are moving quickly. It's gonna be ugly if them and uh, Russia, uh, Germany go to war. It's gonna get real ugly real fast. Yeah, we can't do this. We don't own all the Caribbean states. We don't need fuel, we're already full on fuel. What could we need? What could we want? Modern weapons. We're gonna get Russian tanks if we do this. Mm. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Fighters. 200 fighters, that's not nothing. Oh my gosh, shush. Sorry, that was my phone turning down the volume now, although the episode's pretty much over. Viva Cristo Rey! Consumer Good Factories, minus 3%. Dang, there's a lot of good stuff down there. Lots of good bonuses here. Yeah, because these are from, like, the, the war. Yeah, let's start filling that out. But, uh, yeah, just overall, I'm feeling like we're in a good spot in terms of our uh, where our military is in relation to the United States. Um, we could maybe move these to seven twos. How much artillery do I have? I've got a decent amount. So let's say I did, let's say I moved the, turned these into seven twos, get a little more soft attack, a little more boom power, right? We would need 7,000 additional towed artillery, 7,300 really. Uh, I'm building two a day. <laughs> so maybe actually that's not the best call. But, uh, we have our better anti-air in here now, so we can start getting some more piercing. And I don't know what Russia's up to. I don't know if they're going to want to try to attack somebody, the Russian Air Force in Africa. What? Where are they at? God, this tree's enormous. I don't even know where, where, where is whatever they're working on. Here, together with Ethiopia for a better future. Maybe I need to be the one who starts bringing my allies into a war, because again, uh, uh, the, the the computer is telling me that I've got a, a better army than the United States does. Can I can I peek at their templates here? Their Marines, yeah, this Marine division is only infantry. They don't even have engineers. This infantry template, they've got some artillery, but no engineers. There's cavalry around, for goodness sake. They've got a little bit of tanks, but they're only light tanks, so I don't think they're going to be able to do much. I'm up to 31 piercing on my infantry divisions right now without any like dedicated anti-tank in there. And if we were to look at the armor of the light tanks, even a light tank 2, even a light tank 2 is only 15, a light tank 3 is at 30, so I think that's more than enough to pierce their armor. I thought I saw a medium tank division, though. No, that's a light one. This is a light one. We should be okay. Do we have enough uh, anti-air guns, though? Yeah, we've got we've got a surplus. Um, really, the hmm. Yeah, we're we're in a good spot, but I don't know if they're like recovering. Time to test new toys. You see, their army is only going to get stronger. I'll have to think about it. But I might... I might just wait until everybody's trained up and or... We've, we've done the Civil War focuses over here, which is going to take... Let's see, like a focus on guerrilla warfare. 15th. This is only going to take two months. Two months. And then... How many days? And then another month. So in three months, by like spring of 35, we could be at war. And I think we'd have a pretty good chance, especially if we call in our allies and they're not distracted doing something else. They could fill in the, the gaps in the line. Because they have an enormous available manpower. We're not going to be able to just... Um, 
you know, encircle their divisions and then eventually they won't be able to fill the front line anymore. No, they'll start sending people out without guns, but if we could, uh, if we could have uh, our allies come in here and fill in the infantry, then we could concentrate much better. Like, I don't want to have to fight against the Great Plains. I'd like to just kind of go along the coastlines down here if I can. Anyway, I'm just kind of speaking out loud for a while now. I'm Conquering History Games. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.